Because these last couple elections just been pissing me off. They're just fucking, you know, just horrible options. Because I remember, you know, I've been voting since 2004. I just remember when it was just easy decisions, you know what I mean? Because I vote like a lot of us vote. Like, I vote for the person who, first of all, has symmetrical facial features. <laughs> That's big. That's why Ted Cruz is never going to win. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's at HD at the crib, but his nose is going left or right on my 55-inch TCL. <laughs> and then I vote for the person that I want to drink a beer with or smoke a blunt with, right? Like, you just vote for the person you want to kick with at a party. You know what I mean? But back in 04, that's easy as fuck. That's George W. Bush every fucking time. That's the fucking homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can plan 9-11, you can probably plan a party, okay? <laughs> Also, he's bringing the six pack you're drinking from, you're twisting the blunt up in the back, he's leaning in, like, you're put cocaine in that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lil Primo? I'm like a shotgun it for you, they call me Leather Tongue. <laughs> 08 comes around, the 08 election, that's the easiest shit. Obama's the homie, you know what I'm saying? That dude's cool as fuck. He got big ass ears, but they're symmetrical, all right? <laughs> And you know what he does at parties? He walks into every room with his wife looking like he just fucked her. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. You want a dude that looks like he just laid it down in the room prior, okay? <laughs> also, he's walking into every big meeting with post-nut clarity. <laughs> you, know you want your world leader walking into international meetings with a loaded gun? No, you want to clear that out, all right? <laughs> and then think about it from the flip side. Who'd he beat, right? He beat John McCain, and uh, you yeah, know, I'm from Arizona, I fuck with John McCain heavy, but let's be real, he couldn't raise his arms above his shoulders. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, if you can't raise the roof, you're not gonna raise my taxes. <laughs> and then he beat Mitt Romney, and that's just a full grown man named after a baseball glove. And uh, <laughs> it's a hard pass for me. And I don't know if you know a lot about his religious beliefs, but he's wearing full body underwears under that suit. And, uh, <laughs> I just need boxer briefs, you know what I'm saying? I just need <laughs> then 2016 comes around, that election, it's like, what the fuck are these options? You know what I'm saying? Like on one side, sure, Trump at a party, like he sounds cool, he knows Kanye West, he fucked a porn star, he's talking about something called Space Force, right? But then you bring the hard drugs out and he's like, actually, I'm stone cold sober. It's like, dude, nobody trusts that, okay? <laughs> and then Hillary at the party, she's turning the music down all damn night, right? <laughs> and it's like, look, bitch, we only invited you because your husband's cool, okay? <laughs> Like, we don't fuck with you like that. But I did, I did side with her on that election because I just like the idea that Slick Will was gonna be back up in the crib. <laughs> Old Billy Boy back up in the spot, popping his head out like, what's good, bitches, I'm back. How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, they got me in the same room as last time. I don't know how it worked out either, the same room. Are you still here, girl? You got thick, what's up? Okay. <laughs> but it didn't work out that way. Right? right went the other way. And uh, you know, it was a funky little four year stretch, for sure. But I think we could all admit, like, during that four-year stretch, we all knew that he was the best working comedian. <laughs> I'm saying, like, that motherfucker was funny as shit. Like, he was working on a Netflix special. It just happened to be on C-SPAN, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we all watched the news during that four years and thought to ourselves, you know what, sometimes Mexicans do be doing that, you know? <laughs> And then 2020 comes around, and it's like, what the fuck are these options? The 2020 election was fucking crazy. That, on one side, you got this burnt orange motherfucker looking like King Louis from the Jungle Book still, right? <laughs> and on the other side, you got a dude who looks like he chose the wrong cup in Indiana Jones. <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> I'm just saying, we just voted between two 80-year-old motherfuckers last year, you know what I mean? That's some crazy ass shit, dude. We all got 80-year-old motherfuckers in our family. We're just happy when the applesauce doesn't dribble out of their mouth on Thanksgiving dinner, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ask your 80-year-old motherfucker what their five-year plan is. You know what it is? Life. <laughs> We're like, hey, why don't you try to run the country while you try to make it to 83? Did you say something about dementia? I will figure it out. <laughs> I'm just saying, we went four years with a dude where every single sentence he said, you were like, dude, I might die. Like, this dude could kill me. And now we got a dude where every single sentence he says, you're like, dude, he could fucking die. <laughs> like, this could kill him. Like, you got this sentence, big dog? Is somebody putting extra commas in the teleprompter right now? I'm just saying, we're a broken hip away from some shit going down in this country. And maybe that's why we're on life support. But you guys, Michael Turner is my name. I appreciate you guys. Keep it going, guys.